All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakai Kwadash, double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from, honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity, and Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be a response to The Last of Us episode two. Uh, so before I begin, of course, uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, or whatever. <laughs> so just in case if you all didn't watch the episode and you interested, you know, go watch the episode and then, you know, come back and watch the video and everything like that. But, uh, you know, I ain't going to give out too much what happened within the episode. I'm pretty much just going to speak about a certain scene that I saw within that episode uh, last night. Because pretty much the, the uh, new episode comes out every Sunday. So I may make this a series. Every time a new episode come out, I may do a lesson on it. Just so I can bring out the spiritual aspect of everything that's going on. If uh, the spirit hits me to do that. So right now, yeah, we're going to speak about episode two. And the thing, the main thing that happened in episode two was um, they had this flashback where this scientist, uh, this lady, she was uh, brought in by the military to get answers on why uh, people were turning into the zombies and how can we get a cure and everything like that. And she pretty much told the people when she found out that whatever was in the people was turning them into zombies, she said, this is a thing that cannot be cured because she was like, this is a thing that shouldn't even be in humans in the first place. All right. It, it was a C word. It, it was a, a word that started with the letter C. I forget what exactly what it was but when she found out that that thing was in humans she got really really like in a in a bad mood she was just like oh man she wasn't expecting anything like this to happen and pretty much the military dude was like uh so what do you think we should do in order to stop the, the spread because we don't want this to get to other people and she was like there's no cure for this she was like there's no medicine there's nothing that you can do you know, we can't come up with a cure for something like this. And uh, when the military dude, the sergeant or whatever, looked at her and was like, oh, shit, we can't do anything about this. He was like, uh, so what else do you suggest we do? Before she even said it, the first thing that popped in my mind was I was like, nuke the shit. I was like, nuke the place, man, because I was thinking about the spiritual aspect of it as far as. You know, when Jacob's trouble begins here, as we all know, that the zombie apocalypse might be a real thing, all right? It might be a real thing. And of course, you know, we got all of these other things that's gonna make Jacob's trouble like a day like never before, all right? This is gonna be all out chaos with things that we have not seen before. We're gonna experience very horrible things. Like it's gonna get so bad to the point where the angels are gonna have to interfere. Yahweh Shai himself is gonna have to come back, the Lord. So when you really think about it, you like, man, it's gonna get bad down here, right? And so when she said, before she even said the answer, the first thing I said was, I'm like, man, you gotta nuke this place. I'm like, you gotta bomb this shit. I'm like, just get rid of it. Because I'm like, ain't no way you coming back from all, the, all this hell that's getting ready to happen, right? And the first thing she said after that, she was like, bomb it. She was like bombing. And the sergeant was looking like, wait, what? She was like, it's nothing we can do. She was like, we just gonna have to kill the people. She was like, we're gonna have to kill the people, man. <laughs> she was like, and after she said that, she was like, look, let me go home to my family, see them. She started crying and everything. And uh <laughs> and when she said that, I was like, see, nuke it, man. And that's exactly what the Lord is getting ready to do because this place is already wicked. Like it says in the book of Second Ezra, this place is polluted with wickedness. It's polluted with wickedness. And then it's already polluted with wickedness. And then all our hell is getting ready to break loose as well. So it's going to get so bad to the point where people are literally going to be looking for just escape all the time, man, all the time. But just like it says, I believe in the book of Amos, it's like you get get out of one situation, you get into another. You get rid of get out of a situation with the soldiers, and then you go into a field, and the lion meets you. Then you get away from the lion, you walk into a house, 
you lean upon a wall and then a serpent bites you. You always gonna get into a situation, man. And this is gonna be the way that the Lord cleans up the earth is by setting this place on fire, making it pure again, man, by getting rid of it. That's the only way you can get rid of it. And I remember a brother uh, uh, from Chicago, what, what's his name, uh, Yaramaya. Um, he was speaking to somebody, I forget who it was, and somebody asked a question about something and he said the same thing. He was like, the only way you can get rid of it, you was like, you gotta nuke it, man. We gotta get rid of it by the thermonuclear destruction and that's exactly what's getting ready to happen to America. America's gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. It tells you in the book of Revelation that the sins have reached up to the heavens, man. The Most High is angry and pissed with this place. He is not pleased with the way that the earth is right now, man. So he's gonna send 200 million warheads to destroy this place. And it's gonna be destroyed within one hour. That's the real reset button right there, man. Not what Esau's getting ready to bring out. Esau's trying to bring that NWO and he's trying to hit the reset button as far as getting everybody chipped, man. But that's not what is gonna uh, set the earth and make it right. Because what Esau is trying to do, he's trying to cut everybody off from the most high. And ultimately he's trying to kill all of Israel, man. Because he wants that birthright back. So it's just like, if he finds out anybody is out here that has a zeal of the Most High, that chip can detect that, all right? That chip can detect it. And they can be like, oh, they're trying to read the Bible. Oh, they're trying to do this. They're trying to do that. Eliminate them. That's the, that's the goal for them. That's why Revelation 12 and 12 says what it says. The devil shall bring down great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. He knows he, his rulership is about to be up, man. So he got to get ready to move. So that's exactly what's getting ready to happen. The, the Most High is about to put the spirit upon Esau. He's going to harden his heart just like he did with Pharaoh. And then after that, Esau is going to start making moves, man. And then all out hell is going to break loose because that's what Esau wants anyway. He wants order out of chaos. He's going to make chaos happen so he can bring the one to bring in the new order. All right. But within that, of course, he's going to slip because Esau is going to destroy Esau. Because what these other countries don't realize is they're, are, they're Edomites, man. Russia, France, Germany, America, Ireland, all of these places, you know, Portuguese, all of these places, man. These are Edomites, man. Esau's getting ready to destroy Esau, and that's a beautiful thing because they deserve it, all right? So at the end of the day, this is what's getting ready to happen. So the only way that this place can become pure and clean again and this place can really bloom and be beautiful the way it once was when the Mosai and Yahweh shot first and the angels first created the earth. You got to nuke this shit, man. You just got to get rid of it. And this is why we pray to Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai every single day so we don't have to be a part of it, man. Because that's going to be a very, very scary thing when this happens, all right? When this goes down and we hear those alarms go off and they tell you to get to the nearest shelter, or whatever the case may be, and the chariots start showing themselves, <laughs> all right? They start showing themselves, and then after that, you know, you start seeing the leg get beamed up, and you just hoping, like, please come, please hover over me. Please hover over me. You're gonna be saying Baba Kusha so many times. you be calling the Lord's name so many times, man, because you're gonna be like, man, they haven't came to me yet. Your heart is gonna be beating, man. Your heart is gonna be beating like pounding out of your chest man and then finally then when the chariot you know hovers above you you get beamed up you know then then, then it stops and that's what we want man it's gonna be a very terrifying experience so this is why we got to keep fearing you how about shimmy how shy man and that's the thing that i always like to push i like to push the fear of the lord you know we always got to do what's right by the lord man and like i said pretty much uh getting back to last of us when that scene came on and, 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 you know, I said what I said, and she said it, I just looked at my woman. I'm like, see, got to get rid of it by nukes, man. This place can't last with chaos, man. You got to get rid of it. And then, of course, the rest of the episode was pretty normal. Uh, you know, it's pretty much like the video game. You know, certain scenes that you'll see, you'll recognize it, certain uh, dialogue and um, whatever you'll recognize it and everything like that. Uh, it was pretty much straight to the point with this episode, but 
that main scene though is really what I wanted to speak about and tie in the spiritual aspect of that, man. All right. So like I said, um, I'm a watch. I'm, I'm gonna keep watching it. So each episode that comes out, I'm gonna uh, see if I can get anything spiritual from it and everything like that. And if I do, then I'll probably just make this a series until they end season one because I don't know if they're gonna make this a thing where they're gonna continue it to when they go into the like the last of us part two from the video game and everything like that i don't know what they're gonna do but until they end the season or do whatever they're gonna do i might make this a series of that speak on it and just tie it in with the scriptures man all right so i'm gonna end it with that so i hope it was edifying so with that i'm gonna say call halayim yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rakakwadash double honors to the apostles of the great millstones and learn his truth from honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word to the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity and shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning and you have a rod to i'll be back with another lesson keep pushing y'all keep pushing we almost out of here shalom